No, the problem there was that the freedom that I was looking for is there, right? Mm -hmm. But now the freedom at this property was just too much. Yes. Uh, people would throw parties. You are trying to sleep or you're trying to study. You're trying to do your schoolwork. Remember, this time I'm still a student. Yes. And people are having a party playing loud music. Um, so it also became a question of renting. Is it easy or is it not easy? Mm. Whether the landlord is there, whether the landlord is, is, is not there. Yes. Um, it's not an easy thing. So I decided to move out from that property because it was like freedom was just too much. Mm -hmm. People just did everything that they wanted. There was no respect. No restrictions whatsoever. No restriction, nothing. So people just did however as they pleased. And now came the, the question of like, okay, now, um, now, okay, where you are moving next? Mm. Do you have a choice of to go share with the owner of the property or not? So, at this point in time, I've also learned that probably it's best not to make friendships with uh, people you live with um, or if you go stay with the, the, the owner of the property on the same property, just stay away. Be a tenant and let them be the landlord. That's it. Yeah. There shouldn't be any friendships formed. Mm. So my next property, I went to go stay with the owner of the, the, the house. Mm -hmm. And it was going fine. I, I met uh, myself as a tenant. Mm -hmm. And I looked at, at the owner of the property as the landlord. Like we are in business. This is a contract. This mm -hmm. is an agreement. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we are not going to be friends. We are not going to get along at all. And then I started seeing moves from the owner of the property uh, where I would be requested favors. I would be requested to do things for her and I would always refuse. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm not engaging. Yes. Because one thing I have learned is that the, the first time that you engage or you allow a person or you give access to a person, that's it. They will not stop. Uh, today they are asking for a $10. The following day it's a $20. Mm -hmm. The other week it's a 50 just like that. It doesn't so end. That it's a 1000 Yeah. So we had misunderstandings and then the move out was also not nice. People had to be involved. The police had to be involved as well yes. um, because this landlord didn't even want to give back my deposit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, fine. Chronicles of renting. Yes. And then from there, I decided to uh, get a place, like a standalone place mm -hmm. um, with family members. So that was my last uh, rental property before the current one where I am. Mm -hmm. And that was fine. It went well. It was nice. But unfortunately, the location was no more um, where I needed to be. Yes. So then I moved to the current location, which is very nice. It's very comfortable. Um, the landlord doesn't live on the property. Everybody is just tenants. And people respect each other here. Mm -hmm. You don't find people throwing parties until three in the morning or two in the morning, music playing or anything like that. So, yeah, it's nice here where I am currently. As you can hear in the background, it's very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> or, or they are hangover. <laughs> Maybe they are sleeping, they are hangover. You never know. Like you don't see them, you hardly see one another. <laughs> 